Okay, this video is on how to reset a tablet back to the factory specifications. You may be doing this because there's inappropriate material on there. You may be doing it because you're trying to fix it. Um, or you may be doing it just to take off things the students added that you don't want. You do it through settings. And when you go to settings, you scroll down to the bottom. And then you'll see above the system area, the last one before that is backup and reset. When I hit the backup and reset button, it's going to show me a new screen that has at the bottom of it factory data reset. When I click factory data reset, I'm then going to see a button that says to reset the tablet. And then it asks me, do, are you sure you want to erase everything? When I push this button to erase everything, it's going to immediately start to reprogram the entire tablet. It shuts it down, it starts it up again, and it starts to wipe the tablet itself and to reprogram everything the way it is, which is what this screen is right here. Now when it's done, it should come back up. If it doesn't, you may have to start it back up on your own. When you do that, you need to go right back into settings. Okay, the reasons we're coming back in the settings after this is pretty clear. It's in Chinese. So we're going to go down here to where we see the A, which is about halfway down, and it's in Chinese. And we're going to click on that to choose the alphabet. So we're clicking on that, and we're going to see the input method there. The very top button on here is where I choose the language. So I'm going to push that very top button. Again, everything's still in Chinese, so it's still confusing. But on this one, as soon as I click it, you see that it, one of my choices there says English United States. So I click on that button, and once this takes, everything's going to be in English. So it gets a little easier from here on out. Um, once I've clicked that and we're in U.S. English, the next thing I'm going to do is three buttons down on the right-hand side where it says default. That's the input method. The Bandai input is not what we want. So I'm going to click on the word default on the right side, and then it's going to give me the option of English U.S. Android keyboard, which is what I want to use then as my input on the device next. So I'm going to click on that. And now we're almost all set up. The only thing we have left is on the left-hand side, we're going to fix the date and time to not be in China. We're going to make it think we're in the eastern United States. So I click the date and time on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to pick the time zone. So I click on time zone, and I'm going to scroll all the way up to where I see eastern, which is minus 4, and click eastern time zone. And now my time just changed by a whole bunch, and it's on the right time zone. The last thing that we're going to do is the account and sync button, which is to set up the student's account. We don't know their account information. I'm not going to try to show you, but basically we're going to click this, and then up in the top right, we're going to click Add Account. We're going to click Google, and then we're going to let the student sign in with their information. So when we click Sign In, it's going to ask us to turn on the Wi-Fi and connect to NTLS, and then put in the student's information. Uh, to finish setting that up. Next, we're going to go to the next step to get rid of all these Chinese apps that we see on the desk, desktop there. And we're going to do that by connecting the cable into the computer input. And that's the next video in this series on how to reset up those things.